Oh yeah. Let's put her on the smoker. Oops. Sorry, Bear. <laughs> he has the sound machine in his room that we can control with an app on our phone. It's amazing. I'll link it below. It's called The Hatch. I want to get another one for the new baby, by the way. You can, you can adjust it from your phone, and so I usually, when it's time to wake up in the morning, I change his light his little night light from orange, which is what it is when he's sleeping, to green, which is what it is when it's time to wake up. And so it kind of helps when they go through that toddler phase of waking up really early and not realizing that it's four o'clock in the morning. It helps like what? <laughs> give them a, like a signal that it's time to wake up versus it's still nighttime. So I just turned his light on and I was changing it to green and turning it bright. <laughs> and instead I blasted the sound. <laughs> Did it wake it? him? No. Wow. I know. All right, you gotta get going. What are I you think, waiting for? Okay, I don't know. I, I have an appointment today with my OB and another ultrasound BPP. Have fun. Okay. So one more appointment done, one more appointment closer to meeting this baby uh so i'm 36 weeks and five days today so almost 37 weeks i'll have an appointment next week when i'm 37 weeks and then the following week when i'm 38 weeks and then that friday i turn 39 weeks and that's the day of my c-section so i really only have two more appointments to go to which is just so wild to me. Like Brad was asking if I felt like this pregnancy has gone fast because he does. A lot of other people say it has. And it, I guess when I look back on it, yes, it's gone very fast, but it day by day it has dragged on. And so anyway, um, everything looked good. Like, I don't know, They the heart rate's good. I'm measuring on track, I guess. He didn't even tell me like what I'm measuring. I was a little concerned because I think for a couple weeks in a row I was staying at like 33 weeks is what my belly was measuring. So, uh, but they do BPPs and the baby's growing appropriately. So everything, I mean, everything looks fine. The baby's moving back to normal. So just a lot of activity in there, which is always reassuring. And um, the, the one, real bummer and if this has always been in the back of my mind but I've just been trying not to think about it because it's it's really stressful for me to think about it and <clears throat> it's not helping anything to worry about it but the baby's kidney which has been the issue this pregnancy like the only real complication the baby's kidney got worse so the last three weeks I've had BPPs and they measure the diameter of the kidney and how dilated it is the left kidney the right kidney is totally fine but the left kidney two weeks ago was 1.4 centimeters dilated last week was 1.5 and then this week it jumped to 2.1 centimeters so like it was enough that the doctor said well there's been you know kind of a change in the wrong direction for the kidney and it's just a bummer it's like I'm so excited to get this baby here, but then at the same time I'm dreading the series of events that will happen when the baby's born. Like we're gonna have to take the baby to Columbia and get a catheter test, dye test done. Like I'm just not looking forward to any of that. And it's sort of taking away like the joy and the anticipation of the birth of this baby because it, I'm just not looking forward to doing that stuff. And it's just going to be hard to watch my baby go through these procedures, even though they've reassured us that, like, the baby doesn't really care. Like, it's not bothering them. You know, they get a little chilly and they start crying. So, a catheter, I, I don't know. It's, it's going to be fine. Everything's going to work out fine. It's just a damper on things, I guess. And it could be much, much worse. And I'm totally recognizing that we could be facing imminent surgery when the baby's born. Or it could be a heart issue or... Some, some vital organ that there's not two of, and we have a really good scenario with having one kidney that's possibly not functioning well when we have a perfectly healthy second kidney. So anyway, it was just kind of a bummer. Um, I also asked, like my mom and my aunt are both really interested in being in the room, my Aunt Laurie, in the room when the baby's born 
for the c-section and I asked if he ever has like an exception to one extra person being in the room like obviously Brad will want to be there um, but he said he's done it exactly two times and it was for a surrogate situation where it was like the surrogate parents and then another one was for like a medical photographer so not gonna happen uh, which is I mean it's it's okay I'd rather I'm sure legality issues surround that that whole topic and just having more people in the room is more people to potentially pass out or get in the way or contaminate something so anyway it's it's fine but and my mom already knows the gender so like the exciting part will be being in the room like when we find out what the gender is and like my mom already knows so it's not even I don't know it's just I guess it's cool to see a baby being born and she was able to witness that with my sister with both of her kids so uh, so anyway that was today's update appointment I'm going to film I turned 37 weeks on Friday so I'm going to film my second to last pregnancy update this weekend and I have a couple of things I'm going to talk about so look forward to that that will probably be posted sometime this weekend and I'm going to go home to my babies right now so we have a lot going on around here things have officially started with the addition to the house so really that area that they've dug out is all the bigger the addition's going to be it's going to be a 12 by 12 room and um, it's something that I didn't really understand until the builder explained it to me. I'm like, if we're going to do an addition, why wouldn't we just make it as big as we possibly could back here? And he said that this is the size it has to be so that they don't have to change the pitch or the peak of the roof. Something about the roof and like the roof line and how the house looks from the front. Something that builders can see, I guess, in their mind's eye, but I don't get at all. So he he said the goal of an addition on a house is to make it not look like an addition and i totally agree it's it's always kind of awkward when you can tell like they add it on so he's really good in the sense that he's going to make it match the current house perfectly it's going to look like it was part of the plan to begin with and looking at the house from the front you're not going to see like an awkward peak of roof that you would have to do if it were any bigger than 12 by 12. So that's why it's 12 by 12. That's really all we need. It's going to serve as a nursery. That's gonna be the baby's nursery um, for the for however long the baby is in a nursery before we start sharing rooms. And then after we start sharing rooms, whether it's Bear and Lindell share a room or whatever the gender of the baby is, if we put them with the same gender in that room. Um, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do there, but that's when that room will become like our office. And it's just, like this house is perfect. I love this house. It like, it's, it's so interesting. When we were looking at houses and we were like deciding we need to get out of my parents' house before this baby comes, that whole, if you guys have been following us for that long, that was quite the, ordeal but when we walked through this house from the get-go it felt right for me and it's hard to explain other than the fact that it just felt right we're mowing doing a little mowing in the living room it's I just love how and we've never really done an official house tour but I feel like it's really it's a small house there's not much to tour so we've got Lindell bear our room um, this is their bathroom that they take baths in and stuff really that's all we use that bathroom for and yeah so it's we're all right here together and now like the baby's nursery is going to be just right off of our room which will be totally perfect and having that addition makes this house so perfect it's just like everything in here i would have probably picked myself i love the white cabinets i love the contrast of this i love the pulls on the cabinets i love the backsplash just I love it. I love the layout. I love the porch. The porch is really big. It's It just serves our family so well for this stage. I love the walk-in pantry. Um, I love that the garage is not super garagey. Like they have the floor finished so that like when we're barefoot out here, it's comfortable. It's not like a, and it, you can heat and cool the garage too. So like, I don't, I don't know if we'll end up pulling our cars in here, but we love it as like an extra 
space to play when the weather's not perfect outside, which I'm sure we'll spend a lot of time out here in the winter. I just love this house. I'm so thankful that it all worked out and that we ended up getting it because it's just perfect for us. So having this addition is gonna be, go Boo Bear. It's gonna be uh, a little bit inconvenient to have construction going on. I mean, it's not terrible. They start, I think, around seven in the morning and that's around what time we all get up anyway. Lyndall sleeps in maybe a little later than that, but, but she'll probably sleep through it. Uh, so, other than being a little inconvenient for the next seven or eight weeks, it's gonna be worth it. And then it'll be really fun to decorate as the nursery which I haven't figured out like what theme I want to go with. I'm going to have to wait and see. <laughs> and see like what the gender of the baby is and try to feel out the personality of the baby. You guys are so silly. But that'll be super fun too. Another thing I love is this tile. Like this is tile with radiant heat and so it's virtually indestructible and it's just I love this house. I'm so happy we're here. So while I was out today, we picked up some really cute, these were like on the dollar rack at Target. Super cute Halloween plates and Halloween. Is that, uh, what's on your fork? Do you know? What is that? Is it a ghost? Ooh. And Lyndall June, what's on your fork? Oh, is it Frankenstein? Yes. Frankenstein. Yeah. You wanna to try to get your avocado with your fork? Looks like you've got your hands full of utensils. Maybe just one at a time. Let me take, take that one out. Let's try, try just this one to stab it. You probably won't need your spoon for this meal, actually. And you'll just need the fork. Good job. Very nice Boo Bear. And these are just the Morning Star pizza burgers. Made mostly out of chickpeas, I think. Chickpea spinach. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to bend over and get that. Ugh. 